Hi all, Lost D Punch Out TV. How are you? Hope you're all good out there. Um, I've got a day off work today, so I just thought I'm bored, so I just thought I'd watch a bit of boxing. And I've seen something come up that Sergei Kovalev is fighting. I think it's on the undercard of the Tyson Fury fight. He's fighting um, a guy called Robin Serwin Safar, 16 and 0 with 12 KOs. And uh, I just went back and thought to myself, you know what? I watched some of Kovalev's old fights because I've seen him fight, I wouldn't say a lot, but I probably saw about six or seven of his fights during his career. And um, I was just looking and thinking to myself, wouldn't it been great to have seen a prime Sergei Kovalev versus the prime Arthur Better Biev or the Arthur Better Biev of now? He's just tearing up that light heavyweight division as he's just stopped Callum Smith at the weekend. But I was looking at uh, some of his old fights and then I went onto Wikipedia looking at his record. Um, I tell you what, he won some stuff, Sergei Kovalev did. He won more stuff than what I thought he did. Um, he was six foot. He had a reach of 72 orthodox. I remember him stopping Nathan Cleverly. Um, that was in 2013 when he took the WBO title from Nathan Cleverly. I'd never heard of him before. This was the first time I ever saw Sergei Kovalev. And he absolutely destroyed Nathan Cleverly. And Nathan Cleverly wasn't a bad fighter. He wasn't a bad fighter at all. If I remember correctly, I think he was a, I think he was a two weight. Uh, world champion. I'm sure he stepped up to, um, or was was he two weight or two time world champion? I can't remember. I remember he held a WBO, and something's telling me he won a WBA title. Uh, maybe someone could tell me about that in the comment section. But yeah, I was just looking at Kovalev's record. Um, phenomenal record, man. He 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 beat Hopkins. I remember that fight. Um, to win the IBF and the WBA. So he unified his WBO with um, the WBA and the IBF. It says on Wikipedia he was undisputed, but I can't ever remember that. And then when I look further down the line, he beat John Pascal for the WBC Diamond Belt. But to my knowledge, like I say, like I say again, maybe someone can tell me different, but the WBC Diamond Belt is not a recognised belt. Well, it's not like a world title belt. I think it's an eliminator belt or something like that. I don't know. There's that many frigging belts, to be fair. I get confused. But yeah, he held the IBF from and the WBA from 2014, 2016. I remember him beating Anthony Yard. That was when Yard went over to Russia to fight him in his back garden. Yard, he put up a good performance, but I think um, he boxed himself out. He gassed and he got stopped with a jab off Kovalev. But Kovalev held the WBO title three times um, from... Uh, what is it saying now? I did write it down, but... Oh, that, sorry, that was it. He held the IBF from 2014 and to 2016, the IBF and the WBA belt, but he held the WBO titles from 2013 to 2019, winning it three times. And I looked at his amateur record. He had a pretty good amateur record. Um, and I know... I've never seen the footage, but I know he fought Arthur Baterviev in the amateurs. And he came up uh, unstuck, losing by one point. It was 24 to 25 in favour of Arthur, Arthur Betabiev. But uh, I don't think cru the Crusher was everyone's cup of tea, but man, the boy could. Not only did he have power, he could box. And I would have loved to have seen what it would have been like to have a prime Ar uh, Arthur Betabiev. Fighting or like I say, because I think I think Better be have still got a few good years left in him yet, as he showed at weekend. There's no, seems to be no uh, uh, sights of father time setting in on him just yet. 
but I would have loved to have seen a prime Sergei Kovalev versus Artur Batabiev. Who do you think would have won? Um, I don't flipping know, you know. I, me, personally, I don't know, because, like I say, Kovalev could fight, man. He could fight. He Not only could he fight, he, he could punch, he could box. He was a very good boxer, very good jab on him, great right hand, good body shots as well. Um, and quite a durable guy. Obviously, he lost three times, uh, twice towards. Um, I can't think it was it that Alvar Alvarez or, Alvarez or someone. I remember he got knocked out off him, but I think he won in the the rematch. But yeah, Kovalev still fighting, age forty it says he is. He, I think he's fighting, like I say, on the seventeenth uh, of of next month in Saudi Arabia the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. But I would have loved to have seen that fight. That would have been one good ass fight that. Someone would have got knocked out anyway. That fight definitely wouldn't have gone the distance. But let me know I know it's only fantasy boxing, but let me know who you think would have won that fight. A prime Kovalev versus Arthur Batoviev. Who would have won and how? Uh, peace out. I'll catch you later. I'll probably do a live stream later on today. So I haven't done one for a couple of weeks. Um, so anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.